Hello, welcome to another episode here at Big Man in the Woods. And in this episode, it's another episode of What's the Point Of? And we're discussing, I need my help from a cap hat. We're discussing these wood beads. What's the point of them? So wood beads have been around since the day we started in scouting. Baden Powell found them back in Africa. Now we know a lot of scouting histories start in Africa and Baden Powell discovered a camp and the camp was well known to be uh, lived in by a chief. Uh, in fact, the name was Chief Dinazulu. He used to live there. And Baden Powell found the hut that uh, the chief used to live in. And amongst many items, he found a photo of the chief wearing this amazing necklace full of wooden beads. Baden Powell took the photo and the wooden beads. And Baden Powell liked this idea of these wooden beads and give them them for a reason. So he introduced them in the first ever pilot scout leaders training back on the 8th of September, which ran from the 8th to the 10th of September, 1919, when they first did the first ever scout leader training. And Baden Powell would, would award these beads to leaders who accomplished and passed their training. Now, originally, you would only get one bead, and that was for, for passing the basic theory and practical. And as you went on, you were awarded more and more, up to a grand total of six. And that would be given to the um, camp chief of Gilwell Park. And we don't do that anymore. We only get awarded two. But what, what is the point of them? Why do we, as scouters, wear them? Well, as I said, you're awarded them once you've done your scout leader training. So as scout leaders, we have to do a certain amount of training and what we call modules. Once you completed them, you're given them as a leader, as a scout leader, beaver leader, cub leader, whatever you're doing, you're given these um, beads. Now, originally, back when Baden Powell had them, they were from, from the Zulu warrior, and we ran out of them. So in the 1920s, uh, they ran out of the original wood beads, okay? And the scout magazine editor, uh, Hayden Dinnock, he came up with another alternative, and that was to use hornbeam, okay? So the hornbeam was then carved into two wood beads and they would represent a double-edged axe and that would then be crisscrossed onto some leather thong and worn at the end. I love this. It was then tied onto a brass curtain hook and put on your left lapel. We don't do that anymore. Another design was as I have it on my camp hat, okay? So the wood beads will be placed onto the hat of the lemon squeezer, which I don't have, but I've got mine on my hat. And that's one of the reasons it was designed, to be on your hat. Now, in 1921, POI changed, and they said that you don't have to wear it on your lapel, you don't have to wear it on your hat. You will then wear it on a boot, a leather boot lace around your neck. So that's where we now, as scout leaders, we wear them on around our neck. 1927, it changed and they brought out a color-coded system, okay? Not many people like this. Yellow would be awarded if you're a cub leader. Green, if you were training to be a scout leader. And red would be a rover scout leader. And it only lasts for a year. 19 and 28, it got scrapped. They didn't like it. They then brought out a cub leader. Oh, I wish I was a cub leader back in these days. Instead of having the double-edged um, beads as mine are, you would have your beads would be carved into a wolf fang. That got scrapped many years ago, and now we have these same design, whatever, whatever section you are, you'll have that double-edged axe design. There we are. So if you've wondered why, as scout leaders, we wear these funny leather necklace with some wood beads on it, what is that all about? You now know what's the point of the, of the wood beads, it's to show that the scout leader has completed the scout leader training. Thank you very much for joining us here on What's the Point Of. If you want to see some more, don't forget to subscribe, like Big Man in the Woods, and you'll find out more about What's the Point Of. See you next time here on Big Man in the Woods.